Isolation, quanto è stato difficile raccontare in pochi minuti eh, delle esperienze molto personali inserite in un contesto che ovviamente ci riguarda tutti? So, isolation. So, um, it must have been difficult to tell what you told in a few minutes about your personal experiences and how difficult it was if we can, I mean, put it in a relationship with the context that it's about all of us starting from the personal point of view and going to the, you know, the point of view of the people in the world. Domanda aperta a tutti. Of course, the question is for you all, mm -hmm. so you feel free to answer. I would have liked to make a longer film, and I will, but um, for this uh, film it was important to have 20 minutes, so I brought it down to the, uh, yeah, to the most important what I had to tell, but it encouraged me to, um, to go back to that subject, to my family, Perhaps it will not be corona related next time and um, yeah, to, to intensify that. Um, I, yeah, I think short film is a difficult length. I haven't really done one before, but in my case, we, I was trying to look at the experience of a mother and child in one room with nothing to do. Their problem really was they had nothing to do. They were cut off from their work and their families and so on. So in a way, I think 10 minutes was probably enough. <laughs> that, you know, when you're trying to capture what it's like to, to just be in one room, doing nothing, maybe there's a limit to how long you want to watch that for. From, from my perspective, I wanted to do a film about uh, how Sweden took a kind of flawed way to, to handle the pandemic. And it's a very complicated subject. Uh, and uh, I've been following the debate like on a day-by-day basis in a, in, in a year. And if I would have gone in every details, it would have taken like TV series, <laughs> but um, but I thought that but by taking it in a form of kind of a, a satirical um, f form and, and focusing more on the on the strategy was a way to to make it shorter and hopefully more efficient also. Yeah, and the, and the, the format of a short film was really very good to me because it was something that was. I could do during the pandemic, you know, I, I'm not sure I could have been able to make a long feature film during the pandemic, but just a week at home uh, with people I like. And, and also the subject of a short film is one idea, and here one, this one idea was very narrow. How is it to, to, to lose your father when you are not able to, to say bye-bye to him? And other in another way than on an iPad, uh, so it's um, it was more. It, it was not not a long story. It's a long feeling and a, a long immobility. Mi sembra che il cinema, rispetto ad altri eventi storici, abbia subito provato a raccontare la pandemia. Eh, come mai, secondo voi? Well, it seems to me that the cinema in general, more than you know other forms of art or other historical event has tried to, uh, to tell about the pandemic in some ways. And why do you think this happened? Why the cinema was the first form of art to tell the story of the I, pandemic? I didn't see that films. What, 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 what kind of films did you see? Because I saw very little. Uh, uh, I don't know. There was one film in... Uh, no, the cinema that, in general, he means. Ah, the cinema. Yeah. You know, that people weren't able to... Ah, it was very hurt by the pandemic. Exactly. That's true. It still is, yes. Uh, I don't know what will change. In Germany, definitely, it will come out weaker than before. At the moment, uh, I, I'm sorry to say that, because now it's different. They shorten the times how long a film will be in the cinema before it goes to pay TV, DVD, uh, television, so it's much shorter now and some, many films didn't see the big screen at all. So, yeah, let's hope uh, that it uh, will be stronger in the next years again. And the other question was how come, in your opinion, that the cinema was the first form of art to decide to tell about the pandemic? I didn't see that movies. Yeah, what you're saying is which, which, what, which 
take the films in cinema, how dealing with it? Ce ne sono diversi. There are several films. Questo è uno, se vogliamo. Ci sono altri cortometraggi, c'è un film che si chiama Lockdown. There's another sì. movie named Lockdown, for mm -hmm. example. Mm -hmm. yeah. C'è il progetto Netflix. C'è il Netflix project. Sì, tutti i short film, sì, ho visto questo. Sì, penso che è come, ovviamente, il Covid è qualcosa che ha affettato tutto il mondo, abbiamo tutti l'esperienza, probabilmente, in un modo, quali altri eventi, probabilmente dovete tornare alla guerra, per gli europei, per un evento che abbiamo tutti condiviso in una maniera che ha cambiato la nostra vita così radicalmente come questo. Quindi, ci sono molti film che sono stati fatti durante la guerra, 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 All those years ago, it's, I think it's normal that people respond to big events like that and try and make something about it. For you? Um, yeah, but I think also s the pandemic has been impacting us uh, in our soul and in our lives in a very emotional way. And, and cinema is a great art also to convey emotions, uh, I think. So in a sense, uh, it's a good way to, to, to work the trauma of the pandemic, to, to do it through, through, through cinema. Uh, but for the moment, I think it has been through minimalistic or, or smaller projects. It's going to take maybe a couple of years before there are like bigger films about the pandemic, uh, when people will be less wary of the pandemic also. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, d d during the pandemic, I had the feeling that uh, uh, the messages were more messages in a bottle, you know, by writers, by musicians, some by filmmakers, but uh, on, in, in, in a way that can be sent through internet or things like that, none by theater, because there was no public. Uh, so, yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's a strange, yeah, it's like Robinson Crusoe in every little island sending messages in the sea. Is somebody finding my bottle, you know? Uh, I mean, the social media have been very present because we are we're all in our home in the social media, but that makes also for a fra fragmentarization of the of the messages, uh, it as Jacko said. So, so I think the, from my perspective, uh, the, the to have had the possibility to make like a, a film that is something that is going to stay, it's um, much more satisfying than if I had written some tweets or, <laughs> or, uh, or making a little YouTube video, <laughs> so to speak. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Grazie. Thank you, Thank you very much.